Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to IO Dave Waffle here. So how's my cool dogs and wild cats doing today? Let me know down there in the comments below. Speaking about cool cats and wild dogs, I got some bad news. Guys, have you ever hugged a dog before? Well, guess what? They just found out that no dog likes being hugged. Not a single one in the entire universe likes being hugged by a human being. And it's probably due to the fact that human beings are just freaking ugly next to a dog. Like literally like take my face mm, and then put that dog over there. Who's cuter? Go with him. Please say go with him. So let's talk about this, guys. It looks like animal psychologists, I didn't even know they were animal psychologists, they are saying that dogs don't like to be hugged by people. Well, this is just great because crap, I've been doing that all my life. Now I just found out that everything is wrong. So this all comes from Stanley Corrin. He is a professor at the University of British Columbia. Great, us Canadians always helping the intelligent minds of the world. Yay! Now he discovered through looking through a bunch of different photos that these dogs just Mm -mm, not like him being hugged, which I think is total bullshit because everyone loves hugs except for cats. Cats don't like hugs at all. So during this study, he analyzed over 250 different photos of dogs being hugged and he found out that 8 out of 10 of them really look unhappy. Whoa! How do we know that if an animal looks a certain way that that look is exactly how that animal feels? I think that's BS, man. Now a lot of these photos, they were taken from the internet. And yeah, they are all like them hugging and being snuggling with the old animal. And for this psychologist, he finds that when dogs get really anxious, they start to bare some teeth. Dude, that's like me. When I get angry, I'm just like, back home, man. Now in some of the photos, yeah, these animals aren't showing their teeth, but he says there are also subtle indications of the animal being completely uncomfortable, such as they fold their their ears down. Just imagine if human beings did that. Like, oh look, I'm really, uh, I'm, ex uh, I'm, I'm, I'm anxious right now. <sighs> and on top of that, either their eyes will have a half moon shape and they'll yawn or they'll even raise a paw, which is totally wrong because my cute little dog, my sister's dog, Ivy, she always raises her paw when she's like, oh my god, pet me more. I wasn't pet enough in the last pet. Please, please more. So okay, I mean, I get what he's talking about. Like, look at this photo. I mean, you see the animal, he's getting his head squished, but I don't think it looks like he's like, I'm upset. I think he's more looking like, dude, WTF is going on. However, Stanley feels that maybe it's not that they're completely pissed off, it's just that we are invading their space, and that just makes it a bit uncomfortable for them. You know what, guys, I might be right. Have you ever been on a subway or a bar when somebody comes up to you and is like, hey, dude, what's going on? Anyways, guys, that's it for me. I want to know what is your favorite animal down there in the comments below. But thanks for watching. Dave Waffle, keep it real, keep it classy, keep it on the flip side out there in the animal kingdom. Yeah! Mm.